Right guys, what I've got here is the test results from the non-reamed versus reamed cases. Some of the cases had horrible donuts in them, um, some of them had very minor donuts in, but this is the whole issue with it, it causes inconsistent pressures and extreme spreads on the rounds. This first group here is the non-reamed cases, okay, so they had a variety of different donuts in there, different degrees of severity. These are all seated at 1.904 with a 26.2 grain charge of N133 in. Here is an identical load here. Same seating depth, same charge of powder, but with reamed donuts. The donuts have been reamed and removed in these cases. This is actually a typical group. I've shot many groups last week that resembled this kind of accuracy. Okay, so this is not just by chance. As you can see, the 1.904 here, exactly the same length, shows that without the donuts in the cases, accuracy is sub 0.2 MOA. And this was a repeat test of that group just to ensure that this wasn't a fluke because we all know that it is possible to throw three bullets into the same kind of cluster and then not be able to repeat it because you're not looking at the true accuracy of the rifle. Whereas if you can repeat the test again, you know, very minimum POI shift here. The POI is the same, give or take, an eighth of an inch. There was a slight right to left breeze, but as you can see, the, the groups almost overlap each other, which rules out chances of flukes. So, in my opinion, this test is very clear cut. It shows that the, the donuts in the cases have a serious detrimental effect on accuracy, despite the fact that I was actually seated 30 thou above the donuts as well with my particular load so it just shows that it's still having an effect on the accuracy and it's something I'm gonna to have to watch out for in the future I'm gonna get a pin gauge sorted out so that when I slide it into a, a fired case it's gonna be a nice snug fit and I'll be able to detect the donut in its earliest of stages and I'll be able to ream it out and keep a check on them all and keep them all nice and consistent inside those necks and optimize the accuracy of the setup. Alright guys, I hope that's helped.